Hi guys, welcome back. In this video I'll be doing some very basic things. I've been asked to show how to build a cobblestone generator again. Because I think I didn't really show one anyway. So I'll be doing a very basic uh, video this time. So my veteran viewers might already know all this and find this absolutely boring. One thing you might find interesting is I'll be showing how to make an obsidian generator out of a cobblestone generator. So you can convert redstone dust into obsidian. This might come in handy if you're trying to build, I don't know, black tower or maybe just an ether portal. I don't know, maybe um, you'll find that interesting. That'll be later in the video. So. Um, yeah, let me just start by showing you the very basic concept. So let's start at a very basic stage. You probably all know that combining some lava with water will give you cobblestone. That's natural occurring sometimes in some caves or whatever. And it works pretty much like that. You have some flowing water um, that hits some flowing lava and that will give cobblestone. If you have still lava, like the source block, um, you'll have obsidian instead. But this is not the way we'll be doing obsidian with our generator. So what we are going to do is enclose that reaction in some glass so you can see what's going on inside. I'll be using this block of cobblestone where we'll be using block breaker later. So just that you can see what's going on. And that's the basic setup. Just add some water and some lava or the other way around. And as you can see, this block of cobblestone down right here. If you remove that, this will be regenerated. When the lava hits the water, we'll get a new piece of cobblestone every time. And you can do this pretty much endlessly. So that's the basic of our cobblestone generator. So you will just be replacing this block of cobblestone right here with a block breaker and that one will harvest our block after it has been generated so we'll just adjust the breaker to face downwards toward the block that's being generated so that's pretty much the setup we'll be using. You can use a chest, for example here, and you'll need a timer or any redstone source. I'll be using a lever for now. And, well, every time you flick the lever, one piece of cobblestone will be put into the chest. I can show you maybe that it really is generated by adding a tube. This is just so you can see the cobblestone going from the breaker into the chest. You see, it's pretty efficient. Using a block breaker, none of the cobblestone will fly into the lava and evaporate, so you can pretty quickly generate a lot of cobblestone. So this is step one. There are two variations of this I'll be showing you today. The first one is the larger parallel version of this. I took the liberty to, well, increase its size a little. As you can see, it's all the same over again. It's just a breaker at this spot, water on this side and lava here, encased in some glass covers. 
the cobble will regenerate it automatically. So just have multiple breakers so you'll be able to generate your cobble pretty fast in this machine. To do this, you'll just add some redstone tube. You can just put it on top right here and it will operate the breakers and collect the cobble so you won't have to put separate wires down. This is very useful. So you can just, I don't know, put this right here, add a chest right there, maybe make it double chest so it'll not run full directly and maybe add a timer and a lever so we can switch it on and off. I'll just, I don't know, put the timer here, lever there and maybe just run a wire and some jacketed wire over here like, like so. This will stitch the jacketed wire to the tube and connect it to the timer. So this is everything we need. You can just turn on the timer by flicking the lever and as you can see the timer will power the tube. The tube will activate the breaker and cobblestone will simply be coming in at a very fast rate and you can increase the throughput of this machine by adjusting the timer a little. I think about 1.25 seconds is enough for the cobble to generate. You have to maybe um, play a little might depend on your machine so you can't um, set the interval to a arbitrarily low value so you'll have to make it uh, short enough or long enough actually to for the cobble to generate so there is a minimum time you have to let it uh, operate to generate some cobble um, this is already very fast, but you can of course always build more of it. So um, this design can be increased to pretty much uh, however big you want it to be. And it'll produce cobblestone at an incredible rate if you make it really big. So that's um, the first version. So. You see, um, if I turn it off, there will still be some in the tubes and that will just come in and then it's off. That's the basic cobblestone generator in a larger, um, well, version. Maybe the more interesting thing that's not as obvious is um, you can use this design to produce obsidian. If you add a deployer below your um, spot where the cobble is generated, like so, make it face upward, like so, you can put some redstone dust in it. And if you let the deployer operate, let me show you like so, it'll put some redstone dust on top of itself on the spot where the cobblestone will generate, as you can see right here. So if you do this and have lava flow onto it and there's water, flowing water at this block, you'll receive obsidian instead of cobblestone. So you can pretty easily make a cobblestone generator that will well, also be able to, to generate obsidian. So let me put our breaker in it. 
like so. Make it face down. And, well, the important stuff uh, is that you actually make the water flow let the water flow a block further like so so um, that the water will not wash away the uh, redstone that's important if you let the water flow through and do not remove the block down there next to the block breaker the water will wash away the redstone dust and of course that's will that will prevent it from generating obsidian. So, just uh, add the lava. At the moment there is no redstone there, so we'll receive cobblestone. But, let me just set it up. I'll just use a single, piece, a single chest right there. What we want to do is to um, set up our timer, pretty similar to the way we had it before. So we'll need, um, let's see, we can, we can uh, activate the deployer by um, by using a passive approach. So if we put some wire there, this should be enough to let it deploy. Then we'll be using lever to turn it on and off. And we'll be using a repeater, like so. And this one will connect to our block breaker like so um, there's a short delay you can also use a regular repeater because we want the deployer to fire first and then we want the block breaker to harvest so we might need to adjust that a little so now That's not enough. There we go. So as you can see, we have to delay the signal for the block breaker. First we want the deployer to deploy some redstone. Then we need the lava to actually form the block of obsidian. Then we want the block breaker to harvest the obsidian. That's a pretty easy way to manufacture some obsidian. As you can see, it works every time and it'll convert at a rate one obsidian, uh, one redstone dust into one obsidian. So if you have some redstone to spare, you can pretty easy, easily do this. You could, of course, also make a parallel version of this one. You could just build more of these and use the same signal for all the breakers and all the deployers, like this. But, well, I'll be just using this single one, so um, I think it's su sufficient to show that it works. I hope you like that, and I hope this uh, tutorial helps you to set up your own Coldstone Generator or Obsidian Generator. Thanks for watching.